Welcome back to some more Muramasa action. So I can't really say much. <laughs> I don't know, man. There's not that much new. Just drawing and playing a lot of Muramasa. Uh, the video gets a tad bit choppy. I don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah, I guess it's during the recordings. Shit kind of hit the fan. I'm just noticing that. It's kind of disappointing. At some point, it just stops. Um, well, not literally. But, okay, it's not that bad. Maybe it's my current um, frame per second on my computer. Which is why I have to do <laughs> something to get myself uh, a new laptop or desktop. Whatever's, whatever works. But, you know, that shit's expensive. Very, very expensive. You know, do you all have a uh, thousand, two thousand dollars to buy a new PC? Unless your parents are rich. <laughs> but uh, so far, we're seeing Hellspinner, Hellspinner 2, actually doing something. Well, right now, using abuse of the Spectre Blow, it can attack everywhere. And uh, having the Spectre Blow is like throwing some homing missiles. You shoot, it'll catch someone and take him out. Literally. So this is quite a fascinating uh, state right now. I still got my wind. Um, and I'm trying out some of the new techniques. I had to remove the inverted wall because, well, it wasn't that advantageous for the situation right now. So we'll see what, I, what we can do right now. But Spectre Blow always deals the damage. Of course, at that point, I want to juggle at least two characters at the same time. I don't know what the fuck happened there. But if I see them down and right next to each other, boom, wind. Because wind does not give a damn if you have an invincibility frame when you fall down. Wind just hits. Love that shit. <laughs> really. One heck of a technique. Not as bad as a Cyclone Tree, which I guess I might not have in this game because I am uh, Kisuke instead of Momohime. Maybe it's uh, maybe it's character specific. Man, these guys block the shit out of my attack. That's why you have to do it again. <laughs> That's right, you want to block? You want to block? I'm going to keep that. Oh, I missed. I missed. I wanted to keep that combo going up to 100. I think there you get the bonus of a slashing spree, or maybe up to 150. Hey, extra experience, man. <laughs> Do what it takes to get the EXP. And you got the EXP, you beat the boss. Uh, you know what? I don't want to fight these guys. Why? It's just... It's an, un it's an annoying environment battle. That point, I don't need to deal with these guys. The say should leave them to die on their own. Might as well save. You can never be too sure. Uh, I do not need Granny right now. Even though that would give a lot of spirits, uh, spirits, but I am full of spirits. Thus, I do not need murder. Spirited. Man, that's. The Hell Spinner 2 took them out. <laughs> Let me see if I can get myself a new blade. A Bushido blade. Am I stuck? Oh, wait. I might be able to get a new one. What is that? Moonlight Glint? Ha, <laughs> yeah. You guys are going to like this technique. Moonlight Glint is um, an all screen attack. And uh, it's called Moonlight Glint, because it's an attack you do before the moonlight appears. <laughs> In the movies, you know? Actually, okay, let's see. I'm always keeping aware for the other battle spot. Moonlight! Shwing! Moonlight! Shwing! <laughs> Look at that. Already, two Moonlight Glints, and um, the enemies are out. KO. This all screen attack is worth the damage. 
I mean, it does a nice amount of damage, and it hits all screen. <laughs> what else do you want? I just want to try uh, try out Hell Spinner too, just to have the moonlight recover, <laughs> and then add some Rico Suave. <laughs> you know what? I never got that one. For a while, I never understood what the hell's with Rico Suave. And then I just saw um, Angry Joe make a parody of it. Angry Joe make a parody of it. And I'm like, yeah, okay, now I get it. Guy with <laughs> who only has his, a song about himself. All right, I'm having, I'm getting a lot of this item. I might as well see if it's 400 life. Could be worth it. Yeah, might as well add it to the item shortcut. Okay, all that. Uh, actually, okay, weird. This is a weird thing. Is the game glitching out on me? It's like restore 50% soul power, restore 50% soul power. It's the same thing. Doesn't make much sense. Uh, I might make a few rice balls in front of you. Mostly because you get the experience of what it is to cook before a battle. <laughs> um, I can't really say much more. I mean, I would have done many more rice balls, but that would have been boring for you guys to watch. And um, either way, oh wow, blade broke. Fuck you all. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Reflected back. I like that. Moonlight. Didn't want to do it a second time, even though it would have been it cleared. Uh, it would have cleared that level. <laughs> but uh, Moonlight Glint, a technique that will hit all screen. Of course, right now, um, in this situation, might as well stick with the blade that has the most soul power. Oh wow! Look at that! He just jumped in there. See, I'm still wondering why the other one is stuck in midair, right in front of me, you know? Oh wow. This guy tried to win Dalsim. You tried to do your Gotham. <laughs> uh it's um it's around 1 a.m. right now. I always do these shadow release in the morning. I try to at least upload two times per upload. Or two videos per upload. Fuck, why don't I do moonlight glimpse? That would have killed them all. Ah, there you go. Oh, <laughs> I just abused of that new damage. Yeah, at one point I don't really want to um, waste all my soul powers for certain blades, but right now, since I'm using two heavy blades, it is quite a disadvantage. Because, you know, they're slow. Well, two long blades, not heavy blades. This is not um, Monster Hunter. Not too fond of that game, but it's all about preference. Oh shit, and Vanquish is getting released in one week. Man. There's gonna be a lot to try and figure out. Oh, oh, look at that. That's a bad switch. I should have went switched into... Switched into a roll. Fucking bombs, that was a... This is why I hate this level. Or this kind of level, you know, when you have to fight ninjas on uh, rising platforms or multiple platforms. A real piece of shit. And at one point, it's not really worth it to fight him. Oh, and you see that last bomb just hit me. I was wishing for the level up, but I, uh, <laughs> it's it's not gonna happen for a while. Thus, why not continue? I have enough healing items. Huh, I knew there was an alternate path. Okay, now I got one heck of a recipe. You know what? I don't need to fight them again, but EXP wise. Oh, stay up. Crap, no blade. Wow. Don't worry, don't worry. I know how to manage my uh, HP. 
Except this is rather annoying because when they fall, that is bombs. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna take them all out. At this point, why not? You already took a lot of my HP, so you deserve to die. <laughs> oh, got them bombs. I wish it would hit them as well. Oh, wow. Took this guy to the meat grinder and leveled up. Huh. Okay, well, you're all dead. Okay, I don't know what I was trying to do there. Ah, just evade him. See, that's an awkward, awkward enemy position. It, it's a small glitch. Nothing much to whine about. Unlike Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Ah, I played that goddamn game. Um, my roommate got to the end and as I was watching that, I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Um, and when I get to that point, it's basically they, they try to add in um, whoever played Ikaruga, that system where you have to switch polarities. Why didn't I enter that one? Ah, just to see if there was another one. Okay, that system where you switch polarities in order to hit a specific enemy or absorb certain attacks, they integrated, integrity, bah, they, they added that to fucking Castlevania. So, okay, you get um, this instance where in a boss battle, the boss switches to blue magic. So you have to take red magic to take him out, you know? And then he switches back, you know, in mid-fight or maybe in mid-hit. So you have to switch it back again. Um, and vice versa. And I'm, maybe I shouldn't spoil it during the final... Um, but a final boss instant is the... They try to make use of um, the polarity thing. But it just turns out to be shit in a can. And I'm, I'm not joking. Like, I lost a lot of respect for that game as soon as I saw that in action. Uh, that and the Colossus. I mean, what the fuck, guys? Were you trying to steal from both... Shadow of the Colossus and um, fuck Ikaruga. I mean, fuck. I mean, goddamn those little creatures, man. They're a pain in the ass at times. But yeah, Castlevania Lord of Shadows. I guess give it a try, but I just don't respect it as a Castlevania. Uh, just want to see the new thingies. The new um, abilities. Well, not really abilities, items. And I guess I might as well cook. Oh, this is a new recipe. Gives you extra money. This is what I use to farm gold. <laughs> or to farm money. Uh, as you fight, you get more money. Thus, <laughs> straight up, this will become very, very useful. But, um,. Yeah, Castlevania Lord of Shadows. Yeah. Check it out for yourself. Try out the demo. And expect only three Colossus battle, apparently. But, uh... I'm going back to playing Castlevania on the DS. <laughs> um, so yeah, right now I cannot get any more blades. And we'll have to stop it here. I shall see you guys later. Next video.